everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are here for my moving vlog part three. Yeah, this is the third, is it the third? Yes, this is the third moving vlog on my channel. So if you haven't seen part one and two, that's basically moving day and then the start of the home renovations. So I'll link them down below for you guys if you're new here or if you haven't watched them yet because if you like this kind of video, I think you're gonna really like them as well. So I'm just introing the video now. I have actually filmed all the footage, but I forgot to film the intro, so I thought I would do that today. So I hope you guys are doing really well. Today's video is gonna consist of painting some of the house, ripping some more units out what else i think putting some furniture together some halls that kind of stuff a little bit of everything really just literally i'm documenting everything we are doing to this house so if we do something to this house you guys are going to be seeing it on this channel um so i'm just so excited we moved into this house now two weeks ago yesterday so we've not been here for long but i feel like we're making good progress for the time that we have been here and I'm just loving sharing it with you and it's nice for me to document it so I can watch it back as well. So I'm going to start this haul actually with an E. Whoa. I'm going to start this vlog, I mean, not this haul. I'm going to start this vlog with an eBay haul for you guys because I've been collecting this stuff over the last week or so and it's all here and the stuff i'm going to share with you in a sec is all stuff that is going to be for home organization so i feel like it works this video but also i'm going to be doing a home organization video soon i don't know when because i need to pick out a few more bits but i've got a whole cupboard full of stuff which you may have kind of seen me do hauls on previously from ikea and that and all this stuff and we're going to do a really nice kitchen organization which i can't wait for like so excited about it so before i get into the haul from ebay i want to talk for a second about top cashback because i did actually use top cashback recently on my ebay orders to save money and then to also get cashback really quickly as well so this part of the video has been kindly sponsored i am so excited because i love top cashback and i'm really excited to share it with you guys and let you know a little bit more about it because it's a great tool that you can literally save money on so easy because if you are a regular here you know i'm all about a bargain I'm I'm all about saving that money and top cashback is so so easy to use it is quick to use as well i'm actually going to do a little screen record on my phone now just to show you so i'm literally just going to start the screen record right now so you can kind of get a little feel for it so i am actually already logged into my account but you know obviously if you're not logged in you can log in so on the home screen you'll see that they have the top pick so for example there's up to 12 percent on beauty bay which is one of my favorite websites to shop on up to five percent on boots as well they also have some daily offers down here as well so you can see they've got sunglass heart 11 percent cashback molten brown nine percent so when using top cashback i found some of my favorite brands on there such as pretty little thing dun elm pets at home you name it i feel like there's so many on there they have over five thousand brands that they work with on their site so so yeah, you simply search for your retailer. So for example, when it was eBay, I just searched for eBay like this. And then it also shows you other websites you might be interested in, you know, you've got Amazon, Etsy, etc. So you click on the website you want to shop at, and then you click get cashback now, and it opens the store you are going to shop at literally as simple as that that is literally it and then you shop as normal and then you'll get an email about your cashback at a later date something that top cashback do that is amazing is the fact they offer the best rates available so if you find a rate elsewhere that is better than the rates on top cashback you can simply get in touch with them and they will beat it they will beat it guys so you're not going to find a better rate elsewhere which is why i find it great and for any of you that haven't used top cashback before then there is actually a new member offer so i'm going to pop the link to it in the description box down below so make sure you check that out so if you click my link to sign up you will get a 15 pounds sign up bonus so yeah all you simply need to do is sign up with my link search for one of your favorite brands using the search bar like i showed you on the screen record obviously click get cashback now shop the website and then make sure that you spend 15 pounds or more on the website website and then you'll get the 15 pounds back and then you'll receive that within 14 days of placing your order so literally spend 15 pounds get 15 pounds back it's literally a 15 pounds free shopping experience for nothing like it's it's why wouldn't you it's a no-brainer to me so yeah guys i'm so happy that i've worked with them on that part of the video because i love bringing you stuff that i really believe in really love and i feel like you'll get value in and i'm also asked a lot to do more saving videos obviously i've done lots of videos in the past on how to save money and i have said in them videos that a great way to save money is literally using cashback websites because if you're going to place an order if you're going to spend money anyway you may as well get cash back because then it's saving you money on your order like it's a win-win so yeah i really hope you like it and now i'm going to show you everything from ebay that i got using top cashback and made money back on spending which is fab jordan is back home so i'm going to quickly speak to him and then i'll be back
Jordan just got his new car, so I just went out to see his new car. I'm just gonna take my um, vitamins as well quickly, because I forget to take them otherwise. They're very chewy. Okay, so to show you the stuff I got from eBay. So I'll try and link everything down below for you guys as well to shop. Whoa. Um, if I can still find it. So here's the first thing. I did I did place this order literally about a week ago. So it should still all be there. So this is the first thing I got. So it's literally like, I don't know what these are called. The technical term. They're a little steppy thing. To put anything on. You can put condiments on these. You can put um, spices. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I might use it for condiments. But equally I might get one as well for spices. So very excited to use that. They've also got a little non-slippy, grippy tray thing. Which is good. The next things I got were for the fridge. So I actually got three of these, or no, I got four of these actually. So these are little um, fridge organizers. So yeah, of course I've got pink, like obviously. So these actually grip onto your fridge. Can you see these little slidey bits? So you literally slide that onto the glass bit in your fridge, and then you can use these to hang underneath the shelves. So they basically make use of that kind of wasted space almost. You know when you put something on the shelf and there's always that big gap between the next layer? You can put these underneath to do to just put little things in, my voice went there. So you can just put little things in like, you know, fruit, like if you literally wanted to put your grapes in there or something, or just anything that's small really, that you just wanna make use of that extra space in the fridge. Because the fridge we've got in the kitchen is actually quite small. We have got a second fridge in the garage, but you know, the day-to-day -day things I use, I still want in the main fridge. So these really help to make use of that space. Not organisation, but I got these little pumpkin um, ice cube moulds as well. And then again, this isn't organisation such, but I got this to go with my coffee machine. So it's just, it's still in the packaging actually. Let's take it out. Little stainless steel container. And it's basically to pop your hot chocolate in there. And then, I can't get the lid off guys. I'm being very stupid here. But anyway, you take this plastic lid off and then can you see it's like, netting so then you can sprinkle it over your molds and to get you know cute coffees and hot chocolates and stuff then i picked this out so i got this for the cupboards to store plates on mrs hinch has this and um i just thought it'd be good to put plates and stuff just to organize and to make use of space because with plates again you don't really use all the space in the cupboard so this is going to help you to make use of your space to so better organize and not to waste space as well then I picked these up, which I'm very excited about. So I got, I think I got 12 of these. Yeah, I think there's six per packet. So these are little um, chalk stickers. These are the large ones. I think I also got small ones, but they haven't arrived yet. And these basically you can pop on any sort of glass jar and then you can write on. So I also got myself a chalk pen. So yeah, I can write on these, whatever's in there, like pastas, rice, etc. I'm so excited. I feel like these are actually the thing I am most excited about for my kitchen, just to get organizing and have that kind of like Pinterest worthy cupboards with everything decanted and organized. And then the last thing I picked out is these. So you get 72 in a packet and this was only about five pounds, which is amazing. And they're literally all for your herbs. So can you see, it's a really pretty design. I love the design. And yes, I'm sure I won't have celery salt or car away, whatever that is. But there's a lot of things on here that I will have like ground ginger, garlic. You know, there's a lot of things on here that I will be using. So yeah, probably won't use all of them, but I'll use as many as I possibly can. I just think they're so cute, so pretty. And it's just gonna be so nice to decant my um, spices and just make them all pretty in the kitchen and very organized. So yeah, that is everything that I picked out from eBay via the Top Cashback website. So I really hope you like that little haul. Like I said, check out the description box down below to check out Top Cashback and sign up for a £15 bonus if you are a new shopper on there. Couldn't recommend them enough, guys. So thank you so much for working with me. I'm about to go into the guest bedroom, which is this one here. This has been the dumping ground. So what we're gonna do now is we're taking out all of this big unit here um, so basically my job now is to try and move as much stuff here as I can into this bedroom, which is our wardrobe room eventually, um, just so that obviously Jordan can get in there and rip out the unit. Then once that's done, everything in this room is then going back into that guest bedroom because that's the dumping ground room, the room we're not that bothered about for a while, so that Jordan can rip out this unit, which is built in, this unit here which is built in and this unit here which is built in um, and then he's going to rip out the carpet in here and this room will then be 
painted, sorted out, like obviously the holes, all the rubbish in here, recarpeted and all fresh and ready to be our bedroom and our wardrobe room, hopefully within the next say week or two. So that is basically our plan of action for tonight to get this room empty as it can be because that unit there is taking up so much space. So if we get that out, we can use this room properly to um, store stuff whilst the other rooms are out of action. So that is what I'm about to do now. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. here is the guest room now that unit is all ripped out which is fab so now we're going to bring everything back in here by the way ignore that it's covered in mud but it's fine it can be cleaned up um it's the middle section anyway for like a what is it called a divan bed um but anyway this is going to be the dumping ground so we're going to bring everything back in from this room into here and just try and organize it to some extent so that it's you know we can fit as much stuff in here as possible and then the door can be closed from here until we have time to get to this room, which may be a little while. Good morning, everyone. It's moving day number four. And this morning I am in my PJ still. Um, it's nearly 11 o'clock. I'm not even sorry about it. I'm currently doing the boring task of phoning all the companies to get the direct debit change, basically. So it's very, very boring. But yeah, well, all I've done is things to do. My writing is, my, I can write neater than this, but you can only just rush in. I don't care. Like, <laughs> anyway, things to do and dates to first, which basically means I want to put all the direct debits to the first. I put Hazel Jordan and then like a column if we need to do it or not. And basically all the things like driving license, um, any, you know, life cover, pet insurance, loads of things, home insurance, contents, BT internet, account stacks, guys. There's so many things to do. So this is i mean i'm sure you guys all know about this anyway but if you are moving then just make sure to get this done within the first couple of days um and just make a little checklist it just makes life a million times easier so whilst i'm doing that jordan is upstairs what are you doing lola don't worry guys i don't put her in her crate all the time i've literally just put her in there because i'm going upstairs um to see how they're getting on and there's so much stuff around at the minute that i do not want her getting hurt which is why she's in there she's rarely in her little crate but I know some people don't like animals being in crates, but it's for her safety. So let's go upstairs and see how they're getting on. Doing more filling and cutting the coving out. Oh, right. We're measuring the coving up and we're getting it cut to size. And so I've just spent about the last half an hour unpackaging this. I probably should have left this to Jordan or at least asked for some help. I've got a really bad backache now where I basically laid this table flat on the floor and <laughs> I literally got like halfway. I got about here and I was like, there's no going back now. I haven't got the strength to push it back up. But even levelling it down to the floor was pretty hard work. It's very, very heavy, this table. Do not underestimate how heavy this table is. Like, it's so heavy. So here's the top of the table. And then here are the legs. I am so happy with this table. Um, I said in my last vlog, but it's from CFS and it's the Row Eco. This is the brand name, Roeco. If you just type in Roeco onto the website, it will come up. It was quite pricey. I think it cost us around, I can't remember if it was 700 or like 790 something, um, but it was pretty pricey, um, but it is what it is really. It's a reclaimed wood table and I love the color. It's like a, it's weird because on the website it looked very creamy, but in person, it might be the lighting because I've still got the curtains closed. So the daylight might lighten it up, but 
Look outside, by the way, look. <laughs> All of this is going into a skip. We've ordered a skip and it's arrived already. It literally got here within half an hour of ordering it, which is fab. So that's um, gonna all go in the skip. But anyway, it does look quite dark in person. I almost feel like, did they send me the wrong table? Because it, honestly, if you looked at the picture on the website, it's very, it's more wood. It's kind of like the frames of these, like a light cream mixed with this color. This looks very dark and they did have a darker version. So I'm kind of thinking, have they sent me the wrong table? But Jordan came down just a second ago and he was like, oh my God, I love it. It's so nice. So I think regardless, I'm not going to like query it or anything like that. I'm just going to stick to it because I do like it. It's a very, it's quite dark. But yeah, like I say, it might just be the light. Maybe a bit of daylight in here will really lighten it up. Um, but it looks just like what I found on Pinterest. So I'm very happy. I feel like I, you know, saw it, thought I wanted it and then found it. So that's cool. And this is the office at the minute. So it's a bit of a dumping ground for stuff, but I'm gonna be using this to film in for a while because my filming room is not gonna be ready probably for a little while, actually. Um, it's, it's all a bit slower than we first expected when we first came here. Oh, by the way, this is me in my PJs, so ignore me. Um, but yeah, clothes outside, clothes outside, trying to wash them, trying to dry them even though it's raining. They got all wet last night, we forgot to take them in. I have no idea how I'm gonna film in here. Um, I'm probably gonna maybe like sit against this wall, have a, have this desk against that wall, maybe, and then sit and film. We've got a nice daylight coming in. And then for my fashion try-ons, I might stand in like this corner. Got the lovely daylight coming in, so that'll probably really work quite nicely, actually. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on with this. I've filled up, I think, five bags like this so far. Two are in the kitchen, three are in here. Oh no, four in here. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of packaging in here. So the coping has all been cut. This little block here has been used to help with the angles. What is the little block called? Mitre block. Mitre block? Yeah. Okay. Um, and here's the coping. It's just one big piece. It's just been stuck on the wall with some, what is this, render repair. No, 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 no. Oh. That's just empty glass of Oh. It's that stuff, COVID adhesive. COVID adhesive has been stuck in the wall with. And the good thing that they've just discovered is in here, the COVID and skirting is actually still there. We thought it was going to be ripped out like the other ones, but it's not. So this room is going to be so much easier for them to prepare, pre can't speak, to prepare, which is really good. So we've had our chair deliveries. So here is the three huge boxes. Can barely get through the hallway now. I'm very excited to open these. I might give it a try myself. Um, I did actually put together the bar stools in my last vlog, if you saw that, the moving vlog. So I think I'm capable of putting these together. Might give it a little whirl now. So about pff, an hour and a half later, I've put three together, just put a load in her crate, and um, I'm struggling with the leg on this one, it's really stiff, so we get Jordan to help me with that. Two to go, we're in the home stretch now, I'm pretty tan tired, but I love them. But I'll show you them properly once they're all put together. And whilst I'm doing that, Jordan is in the garage, because we've had a fridge freezer delivered today. So, he is currently, un oh, it's done. Mm. You pleased with it? Yeah, it's on the wonk. I don't know if it's the feet or the, uh, or the floor. Right. Way, sort of all. Yeah. So what is this? It's a, what brand is it? Candy. Yeah. Father and called Candy. Um, we got it on AO, didn't we? Yeah. A, oh, lead school. And it's just a fridge freezer. It's just one for our garage, so we didn't want to spend too much. How much was it? About two... 70 or something I think it was. It's pretty decent because I think this one fits 16 bags worth of shopping in. So yeah, inside, here it is. It's a little compartment at the bottom. And then the freezer, one, two, four compartments. Yes, yeah, actually pretty, yeah, it's not a bad size. It's not the biggest, but it's definitely not the smallest either, is it? So we got this for Lola's food, because she has a raw food diet, so we didn't want that in our fridge and freezer. So that's basically why we got this. Um, and also the fridge freezers we've got are under the counter, and they're not the biggest. So 
that's why we wanted the extra space um so yeah we'll probably have one or two of these lola will have at least two if not three drawers and then her raw meat can go in here mm -hmm. so that we don't get our food contaminated with it the only thing i don't know is where the uh how do you turn the how do you know if this is on hmm i don't know yeah you know, like, it might take a while to you know, you have a diet, don't you? i don't know it might be in the fridge i've no idea don't ask me Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out so we're just putting the table together now. Can't wait to show you the grand reveal of what it looks like. We've also got us some time lapse over here on my camera and my phone. I struggled a bit more with this one. It was actually, it wasn't hard to put together. There was only a couple of holes each side, but I just really struggled. My hands hurt so much. You see how pink my fingers are from putting these chairs together. I know I'm an idiot. I know I'm very much a wimp, but there we go, there's all our six dining chairs, obsessed with them. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. So here it is guys, it's up. I'm absolutely obsessed. Make your Pinterest mood board your actual home. That didn't work, it didn't focus quick enough, but we're so, so chuffed with it. Geordie D, what do you think of it? I absolutely love it. I think it is beautiful. <laughs> Sounds sarcastic. No, I do, I'm being deadly serious. I think it's lovely, I really, really like it. I couldn't be happier with it. What do you think of the texture on it? You know, it's got lovely. all these like bits. Like, sort of grey. Woody vibes, farmhousey vibes, a bit of modern. Obviously these curtains are not the ones we'll keep, but even in a room that's not done yet, I think it works really well. And, let's go up the other side of the dining room. I mean, ignore all the clothes and stuff over there, but I feel like it prob... You know what, them frames up there, they obviously work, but you could also have black frames, and I think it would work well as well, because it's got the black legs. Um, look how much space we've got, so uh, all around here, so much space because we didn't want it cramped but you've got so much space around it which is amazing and then over here there's so much space so yeah we're really chuffed here it is with just one light on in there just gives a nice little cozy evening vibe to the room Stay. Wait. so here's the master bedroom so all the skirting board has been added the coving's been added and the first layer of white paint is going on the ceilings at the minute. So yeah, this is my little filming space until um, upstairs is done. So here we go. So I really like it. I think it works really nicely as a filming space. I've got my mum dressing table from Ikea. The prints are from Desenio and they're from my last haul. Um, my last haul? My last home vlogs trying to get my words out there and then on here we've got the autumn white company candle I don't want to open it just yet because it looks so pretty I put a little sage pumpkin which I got from Amazon and this vase is from H&M so I really like these three together and then on this size this vase is from layered lounge Laura got it for me and I love it and then I've got these dried grasses in there and I got these from eBay I love them so much. So yeah, I'm really happy with this little space. I'll just sit in the middle and can do my little talking and stuff and I think it looks really nice with the black prints. Really happy with this little space. To fly. Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground I 
I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding So the paint is going on the walls now So the paint we've gone for just Faro and Bull skimming stone matched to that It's by the brand Valspur And this is in B&Q So basically you go in there and you tell them the colour you want and then they match it to any colour you want. Literally, you can bring in a swatch or something, or you can just tell them a name of another brand like Fire and Bull, and they mix it up. And I think this was forty-six pounds per five litre, and I think Fire and Bull was something like fifty-something pound per two point five. So it works out a lot cheaper. So yeah, here it is at the minute. So let's just try and show you. This is a full wall. Obviously, the top needs doing, but yeah, love the colour. It's like a really nice grey, beigey colour, it's really nice. What can I do? You're so loving and gentle to the core. What can I do when you fill me with happiness and much more? What can I do? You're so stunning. I just can't look away. What can I do? I should know by now you make my day. Never more will dreams expire. Keep it burning, keep it burning, baby. God is fire on my head. And don't dare to let go. Cause each day, cause each day for you. So guys, here is the wardrobe room. So all the units have been ripped out by Jordan, all ready to be taken downstairs. <sighs> sorry, to the tip tomorrow, um, to the skip, sorry, he's saying the tip, to the skip tomorrow. Um, then the carpet will be ripped out tomorrow as well. This room is so much better, like I said previously in other vlogs and stuff, the prep in this room is not as bad as the other bedroom because all the coving and stuff still in. The only problem we've identified, which we didn't anticipate, was this part of the ceiling, if you can see, has got that, I think it's called as Artex or something like that, whereas the rest of it has been um, plastered. So we're gonna need a plaster around to sort that out, probably before we get the flooring in, because, I mean, we can get it done sooner, but you just think, what's the point? Like, if it's gonna be empty, try and get someone in. So if we can find someone to do that job, it's a tiniest little square. So hopefully there'll be someone that can come around. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. But yeah, that probably is worth doing before anything else in the room is done. Um, so yeah, that is that. But yeah, really good progress. And then this room is obviously the master bedroom and it's had its first coat of paint in here. Beautiful color. It looks a lot more gray on camera than it is in person. In person, it's like a gray, creamy, I almost want to say pink, but it's not pink, but it does look more, it's basically a very warm tone. It's not like cool gray. It's like a very warm, nice color. This is what it looks like in warm lighting. Um, but yeah, it's, the camera never shows things properly. This little patch here is harder to um, show because, harder to show, harder to cover. I mean, it had the darker tone here, if you guys remember it. But this room is getting there. These little patches on the ceiling have been filled in, but they need to fill in a bit more. They've basically just had like bits put in but they need um, actually plastering next. The thing we haven't done in this room yet is order all these plugs. We're going to replace them because these are just a bit older. Um, you can see they're, you know, they just need replacing really. So I'm going to order all of new ones but we're not sure what to go for yet because I think we want brush chrome but we're not sure. So we need to have a think. You can replace these at any time because they've been painted behind anyway. So we don't have to replace them now because there's so many plugs in the house. We might do a batch job, who knows? We just don't know yet. So have a think about that. We're not gonna let that hinder and hold up the entire room. Another thing we might do is get a different radiator here. We might get a slimline flat radiator, you know, like the modern looking ones. But again, we're having to think about that because they are quite pricey, about hundred pound, which I know it's not tons, but it's still, you know, it's still blowing more budget and stuff here and there. We're trying to do everything on a budget like trying to be as good with money as we can be so we can make our money go as far as possible in the house. But because of this room size, it's like quite a, it's not a long room, but it's a wide room. So the bed does come out quite far. So our walkway here to the ensuite is not that big. So a slimline 
um, radiator does give us that just extra little bit of room so it might work out quite beneficial to get a different radiator but we, again we need to think about it we're not sure yet what is the crack and what's going to happen but there is today's update day number one wednesday now so day number five and i feel like a lot has been done so jordan and his family have really been cracking on and really helping us so yeah amazing it's now thursday and we moved last friday so it's moving day at six today so i'm just going to take you around the house and show you the updates so i am filming this video about three weeks or so i think before it's going to go live um just because i'm trying to spread them out so i've just seen my parents which it is legal at this stage to see them in essex it's the last day tomorrow of being able to have people around so i made sure they came around to see the house before um they're not allowed in the house anymore so i'm feeling a bit upset because I'm trying to get emotional but i do feel a bit upset about it because you know it's like it's becoming winter soon and having people in the garden is not really realistic is it so i'm feeling a bit emotional after just seeing them because yeah i used to see them like all the time so anyway there's worse things in the world i don't want to be extra and dramatic but at the end of the day, it's, it's sad that you can't see your family, isn't it? So, it's sad. Anyway, I've just had my carpet doing in the bedroom. This is the master bedroom. So, a company called A Clark Flooring. I'll link him down below his Instagram page. He's based in Essex, kind of near Chelmsford area, if you know where that is. Um, so, his company have done this carpet today absolutely amazing it's so soft like you know that thick luxurious carpet it does need a hoover so i'm going to do that in a minute but it's that thick luxurious carpet that you just walk on and like you can see it's going to have all the lines in it when i hoover and stuff as well i love it so i did go for a gray um on camera it looks a bit more gray than it does in person it's kind of again the lighting is always off on cameras but it's like a i want to call it more like a grayish they call it it's in between gray and beige like it's not on the does this show it a bit better i don't know but it's basically it's not like cool gray it's like a gray beige color which we love and then here are the walls so they're all painted now lovely painted walls so our bed can go in here today which i'm so excited about and we can finally have a bedroom again which is amazing because we've been sleeping on the floor for the last how many nights friday saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday the last six nights so that is that and i'm now going to take you downstairs we're just going to do a little bit of time lapse action again um i'm going to be unpacking some more things to the kitchen so my mum and dad had loads of boxes of things oh just hit the camera um they had loads of boxes of things for me at theirs like it's my stuff but they were but they were storing it for me um just this stuff over here that I need to basically run all this through the dishwasher to make sure it's all clean and then put it out in the kitchen. Because I think most of it is like mugs, cups, trays, things like that, all for the kitchen. This is the current state of the kitchen. Believe it or not, this morning, this kitchen was absolutely spotless. And this is what it's like. It's because my mum and dad bought me around some things. And um, they also bought me, where is it? A lovely fruit bowl. And I had a lovely delivery, which my dad was helping me set up as well, which is the Nespresso machine. So I got this on Amazon Prime Day deals for £280. I think they're normally about £450. Um, I'm very happy with this. A bit of an investment, but I am not one to treat myself very often at all, really, other than, like, maybe the odd bit of clothing or Primark or, like, you know, makeup here and there. But I don't ever treat myself to things that are, like, this amount of money. I'm pretty with good with my money to be honest with you like i save a lot um than spend other than interior actually i do have a little bit of a spending habit with interior i have to say um so i guess that's not technically correct but something like this i would not normally buy and i was um and an ah and i was like mm, should i really spend that much money but you know what i've wanted it for such a long time and i thought eff it i'm just gonna treat myself so here we go so i did make a coffee with it i didn't quite understand how it works so i need to look at the instructions again but I'm very excited. Got my lovely coffee machine. So excited. It's the Nespresso Creatista Plus Sage. And it's in the chrome colour. And it also comes with this little pack here, which I was very happy about because I didn't know it was going to come with some pods. So we get some pods in there, which I'm so excited about. I really want to try these barista ones. They look amazing. But anyway, yeah, it's time to sort this kitchen out and run loads of stuff through the dishwasher and get sorted.
So, just filming a little time lapse here actually on my phone. Um, just make sure it's still filming, yeah. Because basically, when you film on your phone, it's a tiny file. Whereas when I film on my camera, the file is so big on my laptop, I can't actually edit the whole video. Like the last video I did, the vlog took me hours to edit because I had to keep editing a bit, exporting it, removing it from my laptop. It was like, honestly, it was so difficult. So, anyway. At the minute, I'm just emptying everything from my flat onto the worktop and then I'm running it all through the dishwasher just to make sure it's clean because it's been in these boxes for months wrapped up in this. You know what it's like. I just want to make sure everything's hygienic and clean. So I'm going to run this. Well, it's not all going to fit in the dishwasher, clearly, but I'm going to put my first load in the dishwasher now and then I can work my way through the other tubs. I've nearly emptied two out of four, so we're doing well. This is all the stuff. A lot of pink, as you can see, a lot of like mismatch mugs, um, because in my flat, I always had this thing where I'd only buy two of each glass. Uh, that was just my little thing, I don't know why, but I'm gonna keep them, they're cute. We've got enough cupboard space. Uh, these are perfect little bowls if you have like a Mexican. I've never actually used them. I got these when I lived at home at my parents' house, probably four years ago. They were on offer in Sainsbury's and I got them and I thought one day I'm gonna make like lovely fajitas or like a Mexican night sort of food and put the dips in them and I had that vision and I got them and what else these I had the same vision for so I got these beautiful um, little the cake forks from Monsoon I got them in I think it was in TK Maxx or Home Sense get them out for you the posh little cake forks and I said to myself this is when I have my flat I bought these over a year ago and I said once you move Hazel in your, in your dream house you can crack these open I got I got stuff like that as my goal and like I would not touch it and I had the vision that I would only use it when I move. All little things like that. It, it keeps you focused and keeps you thinking, yeah, we're definitely going to move. Here's our little car collection as well. But yeah, you know, I'm going to crack on. About half an hour later, it has to get worse before it gets better, right? Look at all this mess. Feeling a little bit overwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie. At all this stuff that I need to sort out. It's a lot. Um, but what I've decided is that this cupboard here, it's got so many spare cupboards at the minute that we're not using. So this is gonna be like the baking cupboard. Um, cupboards um like for, you know for like all the ingredients basically like all the sugars and stuff like that i'm also putting my boxes up there as well because there's no space so that is that and then this is me the baking drawer so again this needs organizing and this will be in a separate video like an organization video that i've mentioned um before um which is kind of why i'm not organizing it properly now because i want to properly put the time in for that video but this will be basically for like all cases anything really like all sprinkles everything you know it's just got everything in here but yeah it needs to be organized for sure a few hours later we bought this from amazon heavy duty clothing era because our last one look it's broken it's collapsed Who's that? <laughs> so i'm gonna pop this one up now and see how we get on i think it's just gonna live in the dining room for now in the corner because it just makes life easier eventually it'll go upstairs but we've obviously not got any room upstairs because of all the mess so i'm gonna pop it up in here just doing a bit of hoovering before the final reveal of our bedroom. The bed has just gone up. Mainly Jordan, a little bit of assistance from me, but I'm not the best for things like this, I'm not gonna lie. 
This bed is from a Reese to live in. It was previously gifted to me quite a while ago now, actually. But I do have a 50% discount code for you guys if you're interested in buying a bed from their website. Obviously, it makes the bed so much cheaper. So I'll pop it on the screen. I think it's Hazel 50, but I'll pop it on the screen just to make sure. And I'll also try and link that in the description box for you if I remember as well. Um, but yeah, it's, the bed is like a... What material is this? It's like a... Um, chenille sort of fabric i think it's called it's kind of like a little bit velvety but not like too velvety if that makes sense and it's not like shiny or anything and then it's got the chesterfield buttons as well and this one kind of curves around this one is a super king so i think in the super king the headboards were i can't remember if they're limited or not but um i think now they've got a wide range but when we went for it i think this was one of the only headboards they had available um so we would maybe like something a bit higher in the future, like a really high, because our mattress is so, our mattress comes up to like here. So a lot of the headboard is taken away because we've got a really chunky mattress. Um, so we would quite like a headboard maybe like this high in the future, but it doesn't matter for now. But I thought I'd just show you the bed before it all gets made and put together. Got to bring the mattress in now, which is a very heavy mattress. Hey everyone, so it is now Sunday, so it's moving day what day is it? Eight or nine? So, let's just set the record straight guys. I'm not a DIY expert. I have a lot of help and assistance, but we are just putting the effort in and getting it done. So what we've done, carpets out, all the underlays out. Apologies if this is echoey. Uh, then we've had a plaster in to get rid of that Artex. I don't know if Hazel's already showed you guys that. And as you can see, all these white patches on the walls, we've just gone through and filled some of the deep holes. Got rid of any like excess mastic and stuff like that that was loitering about. Um, just sort of filled and hopefully be sanding soon. And yeah, but it should be ready to paint hopefully next weekend, something like that. You can see here where they've had the fitted wardrobes, we've got the different colors underneath and they've sort of painted the bits that are on show. Similar to what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our wardrobes in and paint obviously we'll paint the whole room but obviously paying more attention to what's on the show so uh yeah that's what we've done guys so hopefully it will come out quite nice like the other room but like i say the fitted wardrobes probably could use replastering all of this um but where we're going to have our wardrobes we sort of thought mm, it's probably not worth doing just yet um but you can probably see the ridges there's a ridge there and stuff like that anyway i'm going on i'm rambling right bye youtube so guys, I just thought I'd do a little outro because I stupidly forgot to film one. So yeah, this is the end of part three of our moving series, home vlog, renovations, all that kind of stuff. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I said it before, but I'm going to try and do one of these videos every other week. I don't know how long I can keep that up for because um, we had a week off work to get as much done as we can, which everything in this vlog you're seeing was during that week off um pretty much anyway i think so obviously things are slowing down now we're both back to work full time but i'm still going to be documenting everything for you guys so if you are new here if you haven't subscribed already i would love for you to hit subscribe to stick around to continue watching my little journey on here and to see what we get up to with the house there's going to be lots of different renovations but there's going to be room transformations as well we're going to be knocking things out eventually maybe extending loads of different things so so i'd love for you to stick around to watch my journey like i said earlier on in the vlog if you like the sound of top cashback check out the link in my description box down below to shop via them to earn money back shopping as you normally would it's a win-win for me it's a no-brainer so i hope you guys enjoy using them and i'll see you guys in the next one bye